Hey everybody, I thought I would just do a real quick video here just to kind of drive home the beehive quilling technique. Sometimes it's just easier to see things in a video than just look at photographs. So again, just to do the, the beehive, all you would need is one strip uh, per group of coils and your slotted quilling tool. So to start, we're going to go about a half an inch down or so from the end. I'm going to curl my tool towards the short end of my strip and it's going to be about four turns. One, two, three, four. And I'll hold it for a second and take it off my tool. And when I turn, you'll see I sort of have the first beginning of a beehive. And the key of the beehive is doing the, about the same distance every time from the curl before and doing the same number of turns. So again, if I go about half an inch down, one fingertip or so, one, two, three, four, gets me right to the end of the last one. And there's two. And again, keep going around the same distance apart and the same number of turns. And you'll do as many or as few as you need. You probably need a lot. And when I turn there, you'll see there's a whole bunch. Sometimes they sort of curl into each other. Sometimes they sort of become a little straighter again. You just kind of push it all back together. If you do less than those four turns, you sort of end up with more of a wave pattern. Let's just do a couple examples here of just two turns. And see that's more of a wave than the full beehive there maybe that's what you're looking for and when you get to the end of your strip you can decide how you want to use these uh, here's a swirl here that I added some on to the outside it sort of looks like a little piece of a paisley pattern or I used some simple leaves that I made on my uh, quilling comb and just added a few in there. And to add these into a shape, whenever you have the ones you need, you're just gonna put a little bit of glue on the outside, both sides of the, uh, the curl, then you're just gonna sort of bunch them together and fill in your space or add them to the outside of your shape. Again, however you're using those. But again, it's just something different. Uh, it fills in space pretty quickly, but keeps it light and airy. And uh, it's just something to, new to try. So I hope this video helped a little bit. And uh, I hope you'll give it a try. Thanks so much. Enjoy the rest of the post.